Alright guys, welcome back to a software engineer place. Just a uh, quick addendum that uh, this problem 17 here was driving me crazy, so um, I'm gonna jump right back into it and um, I've been thinking about it all day and I think I've come up with a solution and it's not really a mathematical, I'm not using any of the operations and not doing any of the counting that we were doing before, but we're just gonna rely on jumping around within the program to try and um, get to the correct output. So it's important to note that there are two outputs and a potential uh, four different input situations, right? You could have a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, a negative and a negative, or a positive and a positive. So four possible inputs and two possible outputs, and the only time that we want to send a one out is if they are different. So, um, this is um, what we would refer to in circuit design or programming as an exclusive OR command, um, where you only output a one if uh, one of the entries is, um, is true. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we know that we're gonna need two numbers at least, so we'll go ahead and put two inboxes in there. And then we have to, we have to branch, right? Because there are gonna be different outputs based on the, based on the value of the first number that we get. So if it's negative, we wanna do one thing. Um, and if it's positive, we want to, um, we'll just go back to the inbox for another number. And if that second number is negative, then we want to jump again. Okay. So, if we think about it now, um, we'll have a positive number come in. If we then have another positive number come in, then they will be the same. Because this one will be a positive, so we'll skip step two, pick up another positive, and we'd skip step four. So we can... Uh, we should be able to go straight to the out box, I think, which means we should just be able to pick up a zero from slot four and then go straight to the out box. And since that's one complete option, we should be able to jump uh, right back to the top and do that again. So that, I think, takes care of any instance where the... Um, where the numbers are both positive, because positive, we'll skip that step, we'll get a positive, we'll skip that step, put the out box, and we'll start all over again. So now we just have to deal with these, the two instances that are left, which is if they're different signs, or if they're both negative. So, first of all, um, let's see, if we pick up a positive, and then the second number is negative, jumping down here, we should be able to have a copy from 5 and then an out box. And then we want to jump back to the beginning. And then this one here, if we jump... So that takes care of the... Um, boy, all these jumps are getting confusing here. So this guy here. So if the first number is negative, then we'll jump down here. Okay, that doesn't make sense. We can't, if the first number is negative, we can't make a decision like that. We need to do something else here. If the first number is negative, then we're skipping our second inbox. So I think we need to get a second number again. So let's go ahead and get a second number here. Now, if this guy is negative, that means that so the first number's negative, we jump down here, we get a new number. If that's negative, that means it's the same. So we should be able to move him up here. Okay. Now, the only thing we haven't accounted for is if it's different. So if we get a positive number, we skip this step. If we get a negative number, we jump down here. Otherwise... Um, okay, so let's say we... Let's think about this here. Um, we've t 
taken care of positive positive because positive comes in skip that step positive comes in skip that step so they are the same we copy the zero and send it out then we start again negative negative we get a negative we jump down here if we pick up another number if it's negative we jump up here okay positive negative if we have a positive here we skip that step we get a negative here we jump all the way down to the bottom okay that's not gonna work we need to move him up here to the copy from five step because we have a positive so we skip this step if we get a negative on the second then that's different so we move down here copy from five and move to the outbox okay so then the last one to do is negative followed by a positive so we have an inbox we get a negative number we jump down here we get an inbox and then if that's negative it would be the same but it's positive so we're going to skip that step copy from five of the one and then outbox it and then move back to the beginning so i think that's a lot of arrows and i'm kind of confused looking at it myself but i think we've accounted for everything so let's just step through it slowly here and see what happens and we go pick up a four throw it away because it was positive so now the second number is negative so we should jump down here no okay can't do that but let's start again okay so three we're gonna skip step two pick up another number now it's negative, so we are going to jump all the way down here, and because the first one was a 3, and we're in this block here, we know that because it's negative, that we have to send a 1, because they're different numbers, so pick up a 1, and it's a Okay, now we get to start all over again, so we get a negative number now, which means we're going to jump down a ways into here and pick up another number. Pick up a six. Okay, so that's not negative. So we're gonna skip this line and move on and copy the one, because they are different. Send it. Start again. Okay, we pick up a negative eight. Now, because it's negative, we jump down to this second inbox, or third inbox down here. And now this number is negative. So we're going to start again, and we're going to say, okay, copy from 4, and then move to the outbox. Alright, and last but not least, we pick up the 8. It's not negative, so we skip that jump. We pick up another number. It's not negative, so we skip this jump. And because we are now in this copy block, it should just work. And I think we did it. Yeah, we used exactly 12 commands, and did it in 28 steps. I'll hop right. So it just goes to show there are multiple ways to solve a problem, and some of them are, um, you know, not as fast as others, and, but sometimes the fast solution can be uh, really challenging to come up with and end up looking pretty confusing and hard to read. But you can see... Um, there were only ever, um, there, there are four different inputs handled here, um, and you can see that because we've got, um, the, let's see, we got, uh, so one option comes straight through here, positive, positive comes straight through here, and then we get a positive, negative with this jump, we get a negative positive with this jump, down here, because it skips this line here, we get a negative negative by coming in here, and then jumping up here, and a well, positive negative by jumping down here, straight to the difference. So, with a very few number of jumps, we're able to actually um, branch four different ways within the code. and. It's really messy and confusing to look at, but uh, it works, so just goes to show. Um, sometimes the, the best solution is not always the easiest. But let's just watch this work one more time.
was meant to be a quick little follow-up to the last video, so I'm going to uh, sign off here. It's uh, almost 2 in the morning, uh, but I will say thank you very much for watching. This has been a Software Engineer Plays, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.